But our top focus this morning, the Narendra Modi government will be presenting its first railway budget today. High-speed trains, world-class stations and safe journeys are likely to be on the top of the agenda there. The high-profile golden quadrilateral rail network linking the four metro cities might be some of the important highlights of that budget. Running semi-high-speed trains on select routes might also be an item of immediate implementation. But with a 14% hike just before the railway budget, the government is up for a challenge today. And here's a look at some of those major challenges which are being faced with the government right now and which Railway Minister Sadanand Gauda needs to address in the budget. Railway Minister Sadanand Gauda made waves even before he presents his maiden budget. A 14% hike in passenger fares across the board which angered many. The Modi government though blamed the UPA. Who are all opposing this? They were all partners during the presentation of the budget. Nobody opened their mouth at that time. Pressure from allies did force a partial rollback, but the freight fare hike of 6.5% remained. Experts say the first big challenge for railways is to ensure a constant increase in freight fares don't take the loads off tracks. Today, railways carry roughly uh, about 38-40% of the traffic. Uh, th this share needs to go up to 45%. It's the freight traffic which gives lot of surplus revenue to the railways. Experts say railways must control staff strength based on activity costs and needs. Decentralize managerial control to railway zones and divisions and budget for adequate asset renewal for safety needs. Reorganize the railway board like every other uh, uh, railway system which has done. They have separated the infrastructure from the operations part of it. With two major accidents within a month of the new government taking over, safety continues to be a major grey area. Passenger safety is caught between clash of technology, clash of interests and political lethargy. Systems like anti-collision devices are in limbo. So what's the status of the railway's most touted safety device? Railway spent 50 crores to develop anti-collision device in 2006. In December last year, Railway Ministry told Parliament that a new improved software version had been developed by Konkan Railways which is now under evaluation. Another stalled project is a new train signalling system TPWS. The trial for the train protection warning system was completed in 2009 after three years of tests. In December 2013, Railway Minister told Parliament that trials are in progress for another pilot project of TBWS. In last two years of UPA, the Rail Bhavan was in news for all the wrong reasons. A Railway Minister was sacked for allegedly accepting bribe. A member of the Railway Board landed in jail for paying bribe. Experts say the solution to all the problems that railway faces lies within the system. And what's needed is political willingness. In New Delhi, Maria Shakil. And Railway Board Chairman Arunendra Kumar spoke to Maria Shakil on some of the big ideas ahead of the rail budget. Listen in. The Prime Minister himself has said that the railways can become the engine of economy. So... What will be the big idea that we can expect? The basic focus is that the common man should not be let down. We must take care of him in whatever way it is. Whether it's amenity for the train, whether security for the train, whether safety for him and catering for him. But he should be the focus, prime focus of the railways as far as the future strategy is concerned. Uh, safety is one area which is always seen as a grey area for the railways. Will, be, will we be expecting some major announcements in that? See, safety we have been taking very, very seriously. And if you see the record of Indian Railways, it is major thing goes on the unmanned level crossing accidents where we have the maximum number of deaths and injuries. So the railway has been very proactive in uh, eliminating these unmanned level crossings and last five years we have un eliminated over 5,000 of such crossings. What are the big challenges in terms of revamping of the rail network? 
as regards high speed the costs are prohibitive and we have to explore what shall be the best op available option that we have to move in that area but we are st having two studies at the moment on Havra, Mum Havra on Mumbai Ahmedabad sector where uh, the French SNCF and the JICA Japanese are doing various types of studies and let us see what their outcome is. Will the fares be going up again? Will there be more trains? And what is the railways coming up in its plan in terms of amenities? Let's see about the trains. We have to wait for the budget. But yes, amenities has been our concern all along and every year we uh, do give it a lot of thought and come out with some way to or the other so that amenities improve because they lack always our expectations and aspirations and we shall be doing some, uh, we shall be concentrating on this sector reasonably well.